Hey YouTubers, it's Mark from Truth Seeker, and I'm in Soul 513. And uh, let's get crazy. Now, I want you to tell me that that's a rock. I want anybody, anybody, any scientist. I want NASA, uh, geologist, astronomer. I want you to tell me that nature does this. Okay? This is the picture. This is an original NASA picture. Okay? That's what we got here. An original NASA picture. Alright? I mean, of course you could tell. Right? Who else's pictures look like this? You know? But uh, it's an original NASA picture. And uh, this is one that I'm going to email NASA about. And I uh, hope that uh, all my viewers are going to do the same. Now, that's strange, right? But then you come up here and you can see that this is intricately carved. I'm just right above it. But you can see how they did some blurring and blocking here. I believe there's another statue right next to it. But I want to know how this happens in nature. That checkerboard pattern. That perfect checkerboard pattern. Because to me, it looks like down here there's some type of entrance. And then off to the side here. But, uh, I mean, there is equipment all over the saw. Here's a piece of equipment. Here's a piece of metallic equipment. There's another piece. back here this looks to be some type of ball a pod with an opening I don't even know what to call these things back here this I believe is some type of masking here. Look at this gigantic thing. You can see it's got a bottom band and then it's got, uh, I don't even know, I guess you don't want to call them like arms coming out of it. Here looks to be another uh, structure back up in the mountain. You can see the dome. It looks like some type of dome. This, this picture's got me pretty excited. I've been trying to do this picture for a while, and uh, I just couldn't get it to come out right. And uh, I got my new monitor, and it's just amazing. On my end, it's actually breathtaking, what I'm saying. That's how, it, I mean, I get, I, I just get very excited over this stuff. Especially when I see this. See this perfect block? See that black? See how they put... See how they darken this all up? And then, see how they put this perfect block here? It looks like they're blocking a face. That would be one eye, another one, the nose. And there's another carving right on the side here. You can see these carvings. Yeah, they darkened this up and they put that black in, you know, those black boxes. Another piece of metallic equipment. Just loaded, just loaded with stuff. Here looks to be another S. See it back there? They're all over Mars. 
You can see the carvings. stuff it's just not natural you know every every other rock looks to be carved or worked somehow you know, this stuff is metallic I mean there's you got a 75% chance that that's a metallic item I mean, look at this there's green it, I, I know these colors could be added, but I mean, I see this all over. I mean, that could be greenery. Look at all this stuff scattered on the ground. Just getting adjusted to using the new monitor, and uh, I'm going to show you guys some incredible stuff over the next couple of months. Look at this thing. I mean, these are just, they look like metallic items. I mean, look at this thing back here. Looks like fan blades. See here's some type of carving that they blurred out. This looks to be another another S. Look at how this is. Looks like it's set up like a, a showcase area. And then look at what's inside here. And it's just crazy. This area it looks to be like a rectangular area. And look what's on it. See, they added this color on the bottom here. They added a lot of color in this area. I think this thing looks like a shamrock standing up. added some type of masking here and here see how they uh, really lit this up I mean look what's under here see how they covered that up See how this interesting stuff, they add all these colors to it? I mean, look at this stuff. See how they uh, put this white smudge right across here? 
this piece here. And just look at the golden colors in this stuff. I mean, I'm really dialing in, you know, my colors and what I want, you know, what I think Mars looks like if you were standing there. And uh, I'm about 50% comfortable with where I want to be with this. So I got a little more tweaking to do. Line in this stone. There's another S. There's a carving. There's some more heavy, heavy, heavy black. Look at this structure. It almost looks like something with its mouth open and it's got a huge backing huge the back the back plate that's holding this up it almost looks like where this is is the mouth opening there's the bottom jaw and the top jaw type of ridge here looks to be like a cross carved into a stone see it and there's something carved in that stone looks like a cross or an arrow or something I mean it's just this stuff is just not natural and I'm sorry for anybody that wants to believe so. I'm, I'm really sorry. But you're, you're sadly mistaken. NASA has lied to you. Manipulated you. Almost brainwashed you into believing this nonsense. For any of the people that really still believe after some of the stuff I've shown you, I, I really feel sorry. I'm sorry. Don't even, don't even bother watching any more videos or anything. Cause you know what? If you can go back and pick any ten of my videos and just watch them, or any of the guys and girls that do this stuff, and just watch them. Really pay attention to what you're watching. And if you don't believe after that, there's nothing we could do for you. Besides maybe a lot of therapy and medication. I mean, look at the way this base is carved out. And you can see the head that they uh, just blurred. I mean, if you can't see that, I, I just don't know. I guess your journey ends here because this is about the best we're going to get. There's no spaceship that's going to land on the White House lawn and occupants come out and, you know, breaking story. Uh, we're just not going to see that. It's happened. Teddy Roosevelt had something to do with that, but, well, you know, we're not privy to that kind of stuff. This is the best we're going to get. And this looks like another S. I, mean, I believe that's what 
the Battle of Los Angeles was about. They were introducing themselves, and of course the animals that we are, what's the first thing that we do? We grab our big guns, and we start trying to kill what we don't understand. And then when we realize that our guns were useless against them, oh, well, that's when everything changed. I bet they were sure nice to them then. Oh yeah. We're not the biggest kids on the block. And to some people that's scary. But to me, it's enlightening. I love it. I love to know, I love that I know I'm part of something bigger. I used to get a huge adrenaline rush off of biking, uh, you know, BMXing, and uh, you know, stunt, all types of stunts and stuff. Driving dirt bikes, fast cars, you know, race cars that should really be driven on uh, a drag strip. And my dad and I always had the. Uh, you know, really cool hot rods. We had a 70 Chevelle Pro Street car with about 850 horsepower, tubbed, wheels the size of, uh, you know, tires in the back, you know, the size of the dragsters and stuff front. We had a 48 Anglia, an old A gas, uh, A gas or race car that uh, we took the alcohol motor out and gave it back to the owner and we put a 350 in it. That was a cool car to play around with. We had a 65 Falcon Pro Street car. We had a 69 Camaro, which was one of my favorites. Big block 427 balance and blue printed. You know, full cage. I mean, just we were able to, you know, yank the wheels up off the ground. Wheelie bars on it, parachute. I mean, just, just neat stuff. I really miss my dad. You know, we used to go out and do cool stuff like that, working on race cars and stuff. I used to show him this stuff. And at first he was like, it can't be, it just can't be. And then the more, you know, he's a very cynical person, you know. I, what it is is what it is. That's what he kind of taught me, you know. It's black and white, but it's, you know, I want to see it. And it is what it is. When I look at this stuff, the only foregone conclusion is this stuff is carved, it's worked, there's 3D structures, there's machinery, I've seen people, animals. So it's one or two things. Either we're not on Mars and we're in some desert locally, which could very well be extremely highly likely, or we are on Mars and it's just, there's a civilization. So. And when you see stuff like this, you tell me what that is. Truth Seekers out. Good night, guys.